What is up, guys? As you can see from the title, this is the time that there was almost going to be a war at my school. Um, so I'm going to name this kid Randy, right? This, oh, this one kid in the group, I'm going to call Randy. Now, he was never a troublemaker. He was always a quiet kid. We got along. I wouldn't call us friends, but we got along until we grabbed the bat because they left it. Okay, so they left it out. They left it outside. We came back next recess, used it, and they said said that we were gonna that we were stealing the bat to the teachers. And uh, then my friend yeeted the bat when we were playing baseball, right? Like yeeted far into the bush. Um, and then they said, um, oh well, they stole it from us just to do that. Teachers believe him, so for, because of course the teachers believe him. Because he's always the quiet, good kid. But in reality, he is not a good child. And, okay, and I pushed him because he tried to push me and he got me aggravated, right? Like, really. Right? He got me. He got me so goddamn mad. Um. And I pushed him. And since I'm not 13 yet, they, okay, and his mom tried to file. Well, no, not file, but she tried to press charges against me and get the police involved because I pushed his son. Her son, sorry. And the only th thing is, is that I'm not 13 yet. And in a place called Canada, where where I live... You, um, it's not like that. You, you have to be 13 or old. I don't know if it's like that in the States or anything, but I, I'm not held responsible for my actions until I am 13 years old. Right? So she tries to, I, I don't know, but she tried to get the police involved. That's all I know. Most likely trying to, um, oh, teach me a lesson. But, uh, either... They were, they were just trying to, uh, get the police to talk to me. Oh, I just shot their bullet. Okay. So, but yeah, like I was saying, as I was saying, though. And, um. But yeah, they're... And, uh, later on, they declare war on us after that, they said. It, they called it a war. Woo! All oh, fancy. Um. Um. But yeah, like, they, they, they said uh, we declare war on them. And this girl came up to, to me and told me while I was hanging out with my friends on the field, right? And, uh, that's, that's, that, that it's, it's just so annoying having to know. And then, that, that they can't go and tell us themselves. They have to, they have to use, um, yeah, they, they couldn't, they couldn't tell, tell us. So, That's ha that happened, and then I was like, oh, hell no, I'm not trusting these kids anymore. And, um, after that, I, we went to beat, nothing happened to us. And after nothing happened to us, but yeah, after nothing happened to us, we thought, oh, they're not going to do anything. And then we said, and then I made a joke, like, and I was sarcastic. I was like, oh, yeah, guys, we're going to go fight them on Monday. Better be ready. And you can tell I'm being sarcastic and that it's a joke. But these people took it seriously. And you know how when you have those teachers that hate you or you hate them and they know that and they want to get, like, revenge on you all the time? Well, that's the type of teacher I had. She hated me. She acted nice in front of parents, and then, but she hated me 24/7, bro. And uh, well, I don't blame her. <laughs> but like, when you're a teacher, you're supposed to not do that 
kind of stuff. Like, let's say I got a, an A plus on a test, she would give me a four. Yeah, you know, like she would give me an A. Sorry, a B, like an A minus. Sorry. So yeah, I, I like, but I haven't hit that age yet where I get where I get like graded like that. But yeah, yeah, I I always get a bit lower because she hated me because I would always talk in class, which I don't blame you for. That's not a bad reason, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, as a teacher, you're supposed to help the children be quiet, then. You don't just hate them. But so, at Beach Day, since we have that at our school, we're, we're a whole, um, clat, we're a whole school and a, a school or two go to one beach, and, uh, you just hang out, right? I was playing football, these kids said, oh, this is our fort, don't come near it, and then I said, okay, well then this is ours, because we, because they declared war, and thought it was like a role play, bro, like, when you say, oh, I'm declaring war on you, and thinking it's a role play, you're, you must be on something, like, I don't know what, but you must be on something strong. As I'm saying, though, they had to be on something really strong to think that. And, uh, I'm gonna get demonetized if I say it. Even though I won't get ads. But, like, I'm going to get demonetized if I say it. But they have to be on something strong. They have to be on the no-no stuff. Alright? To think that you're role-playing when you say, Oh, let's have an entire war! Especially knowing that you're asking a whole, a, per, a person with, uh, like, and they said, oh, we have a bigger team than you. They have four people. We had, like, 27. And, like, we didn't even want to fight them either, because we knew it would just be pathetic. So, what we did was we were going to scare them in numbers. And then, that didn't work out well, because one of the kids said that we were gonna okay so you know how i said i was sarcastic earlier well i was like and i made and i did that sarcastic voice well um that's because that's exactly how i sounded right and um the thing about that is is that you should know You should definitely be able to tell. Alright, so, but yeah, like I said though, they, they were just being super annoying and rude. But, um, <clears throat> a few minutes, a few hours go by, I'm chilling, they tell the teachers that we were gonna stab them with knives. They tell the teachers we were going to bring knives, stab them, and guns, and shoot them, and stab them, and just to try to murder them. And the teachers believed it. I don't think Mr. Gamer Boy over here is going around too often murdering people. Like, video games are my life, bro. And, uh, yeah, and it's like, you boy over here thinks that I'm a murder-some guy? Are you high? And, um, what I'm thinking in my head is that these teachers must be the worst at their job to think that. To think that Mr. Gamer Boy over here, who's played video games all his life, is going to murder someone. But yeah, and everyone ratted me out. They said, oh, well, this guy said, oh, we're going to beat him up. And I'm like, you, well, not all of them, but one of my really good friends said that I wasn't being sarcastic. And at that moment, I knew, you boy, I thought you had my back. 
I'm still friends with him right now. I've been friends with him for, what, five years now? I'm not letting that up.